Alright. So again, we have to keep the same clan. We're not allowed to redraft. Any googly eyes regrets? Minor. Um, what I won't point out... What I won't point out is that uh, the one card in Hellhorn I have not actually <laughs> cleared is Spike of the Hellhorned. And it was this signature card of this deck. So, slight Google eyes regret. Yeah, the challenge is the hat trick challenge. So we just did one round one of the hat trick. We gotta do two more rounds with Hornbreaker Prince. It's not, I mean, come on, it's fine. All right, so we have to keep the same secondary clan. We cannot redraft anything. If we get it in our starting cards, we can keep it, but we can't draft more copies of it. We can dupe them, but we can't draft them. So uh, if we look again at our, well, I won't look at the last build, but we had Impish Scholar, Welder, no, Welder Helper we can draft because we just use its essence. And I said, my rule is you can, you can reuse a unit if you only use their essence. Otherwise we get through the unit pool too quickly. Ritual of Battle. Ritual of Battle. Uh, offering Token. Titan's Gratitude. Impish Scholar. Spike of the Hellhorned. Anything else? That's it, right? Cool. Alright, let's do it. Oh, important work. Yes, important work. Okay, well, we start with Ritual of Battle and Inferno. So we can keep these two rituals. These uh, We can keep these two because they're our starter cards, but I cannot draft more of them. Um, we also have Seraph the Chaste again. Seraph the Chaste has just decided to camp our runs. <laughs> Give us no room for error. So, Mark of a Champion, it entirely depends on which version we get. If we get Wrathful, it's not bad, because you start off with 60 damage and it's much easier to get slays. If we go Brawler, it's pretty bad. You get 3 plus, plus 3 damage. <laughs> uh, or do we just take the Winged Steel, which is like pretty consistent across the board. These are the difficult questions one must ask themselves when playing Monster Train. Do we believe we're getting a Wrathful run, or do we believe we're getting a Brawler run? Um, Wing Steel's good regardless, so we could just say we're going to assume that we don't, we're not guaranteed Wrathful. It's a 66% chance we get Wrathful. It's a 33% chance that we don't. Um, and Mark of a Champion is trash with Brawler. We switch to Wing Steel, and it's generally good. Yes, if I don't get the third option during the third run, I will restart, which is why I picked Googly Eyes, so that I can restart and not break my streak. I'm going to go Wing Steel. I think it's the generally good option here. But it's, it's not, like, clear-cut. Like, if we get Wrathful, it would have been better to take Mark of a Champion, I think. Brawler. There you go. Rewarded. So, now we gotta think about how is this first battle gonna go? There's two options. You have put garbage in your deck or just do damage. Um, we have an Inferno. We have a Ritual of Battle. We have two Rituals of Battle. We have Hell Corsalis. So damage-wise, we're fine. We can clear any boss. Uh, because one Ritual of Battle is going to give us, what, 46 damage base. So, um, in other news, Nate has applied for Divination at Hogwarts. <laughs> I think we can go for the Relic here. And there are some Relics that would make this completely broken. So I'm going to go for it. It's very risky. Because this first fight with Brawler can be tough. I'm only taking this because I have Inferno, I have Helical Crystallis, and Ritual Battle. All of which are really good at clearing ring, ring ones, like ring ones in general. So I'm gonna take it. Did we get something worthwhile? 
Interesting. Trash? Probably trash. I don't know. Golden Vault is insurance. We're certainly not going to take 25 coins. So it's going to be either Golden Vault or a Forgotten Name. I don't think Wing Clippings is good here. So Forgotten Name or Golden Vault? Forgotten Name or Golden Vault? Um, the plus one damage is not really great on the spells that we have. It's pretty good on Helical Crystallis. It's bad on Inferno because it doesn't really matter. It's pretty good on Torch. It's pretty good on Frozen Lances. I guess we'll take this. This is kind of... I'd rather just take Pyre damage, to be honest. Especially this early. I don't think it's pay to win. I think it's pay to never be able to upgrade your stuff. And I'm not a big fan of that. So now we get a second choice. We have a second choice here. They will kill Brawler. So this is this is a, a, a fact. If we uh, cannot kill all three of them, they will just kill your... Actually, no, they won't kill your Prince. They'll leave your Prince with one HP left. Um... However, 75 coins means that we can get a major upgrade at a Merchant of Steel. And for that, I'm going to say yay. Worst case scenario, we take Pyre damage from the Rage units. I think we just Inferno. There's also a play where we go Helico Crystallis, Prince... Take one hit and then torch down here. But I almost think we just, we want to like a clean, honestly, what if we went Inferno and Prince here? What if we just ate all the pyre damage, played at the bottom? No, let's go halvesies. Let's take the nine damage. We can afford nine damage. We Inferno the middle floor. We play the Prince on the middle floor. It's very easy to kill this backliner. We just need a single torch, which we got. Uh, in fact, we... Oh, watch this. Bop. Bop. And we get the kill on the collector. No damage. Now we need... Okay. Whoa. We're in trouble. We just died. We just lost. <sighs> Crap. I would not even look at the bottom floor. I didn't even look at it. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo this one fight. <laughs> um, we gotta be a lot more careful. We play top floor. That's what we're gonna change. We're not gonna go for the collector here, I don't think. Uh, if we go bop and torch, Maybe we're okay. I think we go train steward torch. Take the two pyre damage. We can poke this guy. At the same time, just playing ritual flat out is really good, but I think we can't afford to do that. So we go torch. And we're gonna have to get a train steward to block the hits. Okay. Train Steward blocks the hits. We're going to take a little bit of pyre damage here. Torch you. Play out a steward. And there's the ritual. We might lose. We might actually... This might be unwinnable. I might have uh, killed myself with taking the shards. There's 50. And then... Contrition. He kills our prince in one hit. If we don't get a train steward, we just lose. Yeah, we lose again. Damn. <laughs> we can kill it. We just have to take damage on the prince. So the way that we win this is we go... Um, We Inferno, play the Prince. And you go... Train Steward, Helical Crystallis. Or we just clear it now. But I think... 
I think there's a chance we can just clear it up here. Let's play the, the train steward up front. Hi. Don't take the collector. Pop. 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 And then we just play Ritual. And hope that we get a torch next turn. survived. But that was a nightmare. What a nightmare of a start. Mutually assured destruction. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't have ascend before. We could ascend and like overstack a floor. Um, Fortify is also very good. It's a free spell. We don't have a lot of free spells right now. And we do have extra draw. Moss Mage could be interesting. I don't hate it. We can't take Titan's Gratitude anyway. I'm not going to take Cuddle Hex. I think we'll take the Moss Mage and try to fit it in. What we want is uh, Incants. So luckily we have a Stygian Banner. <sighs> do we go for an Offering Monument build now? Or do we just take the Titan Sentry? I also made a huge mistake. I didn't look at the upgrades first. Um, I don't think we can afford to take uh, Offering Monument. We need something that actually will legitimately protect our floor. And that does not do that. Uh, we're not going to take any other upgrades yet. And we're going to play currently Titan Sentry on the same floor as the Prince. This should be just fine. All we have to play is one... Um... Yeah, so we go one, two, blast. Armor. Are you dying to... It's three frostbite. Okay, would have been really good to get that earlier, but you know, as it is game, uh, play this. And we're killing everything but the backliner, we'll take a little bit of damage. Are we crushing here? We're not crushing here, but honestly this is like, oh man. I think we can actually, I don't think we need to play Inferno here. 15 damage would be 3 full hits at... 48. It's 120 plus the this plus whatever other spells. Well, we're gonna get another ritual of battle. I think we're okay. I actually think we're fine. We play Bop. Hit you again. Doesn't even matter. Just play this here. We're gonna play Ritual of Battle. And that should be enough damage to kill this guy. That's 48 damage at least three times. Four times. No, it's 80, 84, 80 damage four times is 100. Yeah, that's good. We're good. Right? Yeah, we're good. Oh, gosh. Imagine the Brawler run would be the most difficult one. We're just not getting the right units yet. Fledgling Imp is very good, though. And Preserve is good. And Siren of the Frickin' Sea. We got it. That's what we wanted. We want Incant Units. We want Incant Units. We want, uh, especially Incant Units that scale with uh, damage. We want Spell Upgrades as well. So we're getting to the point where it's a little sketch taking so many more units right now. You could take like an Alpha Fiend or a Horned Warrior and mix it together, but I I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this. I think there's too many units right now. Next, we can take another unit because we can immediately combine. I don't want more than two priority units with this build though. Hold over. Um, 
That's interesting. What if we put Holdover on the zero cost armor spell? It guarantees that we can basically play out, get Forgotten Name and Wing Steel every turn because it's cheap. <laughs> and it's defensive, which is what we need right now. We have really good damage scaling. We don't have very good defensive scaling. I'm going to take it. It's a little bit of a weird one. Normally I would not do it like that, but I think this is okay in this circumstance. And then I want uh, these Rituals of Battle to be playable. Currently they are not. I think given the setup now, we probably can... Whoa! Uh, we can probably, even now, with that especially, we're going to play Titan Sentry on the bottom. Play the... Um, Put the siren on top. I'm gonna go for the. Do we want them? Do we want to re-roll here? I'm gonna save my money because we're not gonna get that much money from Daedalus, and I want to be able to be able to re-roll the. I want to be able to re-roll the Merchant of Steel shop. Okay, so our imps just got a lot better. We just need a second imp, and we need endless, and then we're set. Now we can't kill it with uh, important work. We're gonna have to find another trigger. Or just frontline with it. So let's go second floor. Because then they'll lose a little bit of rage. And then we just start this rolling. Okay, play you. Play you. It's all good. Excellent. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to let this guy get sacked. It doesn't really matter. Uh, there's no spikes. I'm just going to torch you to get armor onto her. And... Play you behind. Okay. Uh, we can block. I had to die. Perfect. The boss has spikes. Valid point. Valid point. How many times are we going to have to hit the boss to kill it is the question, I think, at this point. Let's just do this, then. Let's play it mildly safe. Um, let's save three damage here. And we gotta get rolling, so we're gonna go one, two, three, of course. Oh! I forgot that it's increasing spell damage every time. That's a that's actually a huge mistake. Uh let's put you here. Give you armor. Yeah, because our torches are doing so much damage right now. We hit ourselves for a lot there. How are we doing? We're killing. Okay, 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 okay. We managed it, we managed it. Spike of the Stygian. Oh, but Alley of the Ancients. Gifts for a Guard is also kind of interesting. If we're okay to consume a lot of stuff. Um, we could also add consume, remove consume. To make this really strong. I don't hate this. I don't hate this. It's just a question of is this better than just getting an Alloy of the Ancients? It might be. It might actually be. This might be the run for this. When we're having Incant. Whoa! Steelworker. Um, or Titan Sentry on the Titan Sentry. Oh, that's so hard. Titan Sentry on the Titan Sentry is so good. Also, Consumer of Crowns is not terrible. It does make your the thing free. Um, I think I can get a better incant for the uh, Siren of the Sea. So I'm going to take the Titan Sentry here. And just plan on merging Titan Sentry into Titan Sentry. Uh, draw... And then we probably do capacity later, and we need to reduce the cost of a lot of spells. 
Start by eating stewards. We already had one get yeeted because we got purged, which is good for us. Let's check out the shop. Multi-strike, it probably goes on the siren, but we might put the siren into something else. Let's see what we get out of this uh, Sijin banner. That is definitely a lodestone. I don't think that's really what we want. I don't mind... Uh... Do we put Nameless Siren on the Siren of the Sea? Or do we dupe Siren of the Sea and put it on itself? I feel like duping and putting it on itself is probably better. We can do that on the next floor even. We go here and do it then. Hey, Coda Bear. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. This is not the time for Lodestone. I think we go put the Multi-Strike onto the Siren. We start by merging the uh, Titan Sentry onto the Titan Sentry. Endless would be the priority. Is there something we want to spell chain? I mean, we could spell chain fortify just to get two, but I don't know if that's actually good. I think I'm gonna not take any of these. Um, I'm just wondering, like, is 95 HP enough? I think I'd rather just hold out for endless. We can also do siren under siren much later. Like, we could do it all the way at the end. I think that's probably the play because right now it's a lot of shards. And I still want to upgrade like this path here, get spells here, maybe units here again. Like I want to, I want to have the flexibility. We go brawler two, and we continue. Multi strike is fine, I believe, because our Titan Sentry will be able to double. That's going to be ten. 24. No, it's oh, it's six per. That's why. And still play up top. And they're gonna. I mean, this guy's gonna die. He's not gonna die until later, but it's fine. Okay. And I still just think we focus on this floor. This would kill him though saving us a lot of trouble later but this also gives us more stats um i'm gonna i'm gonna still do this there's a chance we get something really really good out of that like a fledgling him for example And then we can even Helical Crystallis him anyway. These guys are dying. Get one Ember Drain. Preserve the Inferno. Play this. And then just play these out. Okay. Play this. Play this. Play this. It's fine. Play you. I think we Inferno. Oh no, we can Inferno next turn. Yeah, 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 we Inferno next turn. Play you. Preserve. Helical Crystallis. And I think we're just crushing it here. Yeah. Okay. Infused Mallet's very good. Ooh, March of Shields is also very good. We didn't take it last time. So we can take it now. Or we could save it because we have the Fortify. This is the choice. If we save it because we have the Fortify... Uh, then we could have it for Wrathful Prince, which is also a very good one to put March of Shields with. 
But this is also an incant build. And maybe we go incants with that. Uh, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. It's really good right now. Um, unnamed tome. It's pretty strong with this build. Drain is also pretty strong with this build because it would drain the uh, sweepers. Harness the Titan kind of also fits because we have a lot of like high damage right now. Although we could save it for like a build when we have like Ice Storm and Ice Tornado and stuff like that. I think I'm going to take the Unnamed Tome. And then we'll feel bad when we get uh, Seraph the Patient later. Uh, we're going to go right path. We're going to get a uh, free artifact. What a choice, guys. Oh, what an awful choice. I think it's got to be Founding Seal, though. As much as I would love Fortify to give me extra armor. Like Founding Seal. Right? Like... What a choice. Chitko, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for the subscription. There's no restrictions on artifacts. Artifacts or whatever. You can take any, any artifacts you want. Yeah, but Railhammer completely changes if we get Guardian Stone. If we get Guardian Stone, this is like Prince Never Dies. I'm gonna go for the double encant, but it's not it's not a clear cut. You just take it because some armor stuff could be really huge. Okay, now we correct we picked correctly because now we have the damage scaling. Um, what if we encant armor on the mollusk mage and put it on the same floor? Give it some health as well, and actually tank with it. Quick is very good. I love these because uh, it's very rare that you're going to get that ever again. And uh, we want minus two. And the question is on what? On what do we want minus two? We want it on Inferno, Ritual of Battle, Gifts for a Guard. All three of these are amazing with uh, minus two. I'm going to go with Gifts. And the reason I'm going to go with Gifts is because uh, if we get hold over on Gifts for a Guard, we can just start burning through our spells. Um, I don't even think, like, we can get, we could add Consume and remove Consume from Inferno and then it's free. Like there's some there's some really nutty things we could do with the right setup. Yeah, it's just fine. These guys do like no damage. And our siren kills everything. Even our prince can kill them. Also, just you know, casually wrecking fools with uh our uh infused mallet here. Get bopped. Hello, sir. Uh, we're going to play on the middle floor. So we can get the collector. It's the greed play, but I'm going to greed. Sick. Bonk Mallet. Crushing fool's dreams since a long time. Let's play you up front. As we said. Give you ritual of battle. We just want our boy to get thick. Um, play this. Play this. Sick. And hold on to you. For a more opportune moment. In fact, this moment seems great. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. 
The hell rush timer gets you every time. And I think we're just... I think we're fine. Maybe. How much armor do we have? We have a lot of armor out right now. That's a free <laughs> inferno. Also, these are doing way more damage. I think we're good. 14 times 7 is not going to get even through this first guy. As I said, just crushed. Branding right. I'm going to keep branding right. We can't take Impish Scholar. I'm not going to take him in a box. Um, I'm going to save branding right for the end. So Glacial Seal, we can fuse onto nobody. It's trash. <laughs> Branding right was not used last run. This is false. Lies, deceits. Deception, lies. Um, I'm gonna yeet the torches, surprising. Maybe, the torches. I think it's tor- uh, actually I don't know. I think it's frozen lances. The problem with the torches is that you can't play them on your incant floor. The good thing about torches is that they torch things. You can, like, target. I'm going to get rid of Frozen Lands. There's a remove consume. Did we run out of music? I think we ran out of music. Hold on a second, guys. We ran out of music. Crazy. All right. Um, okay, it's playing. It's just taking a little sweet time. Uh, let's go minus one onto Ritual of Battle again. Plus ten. I don't know. What do we get out of this uh, Divine Temple here? Let me think. Oh man, I think we re-roll. There's a plus 20. And I would like uh, Helico Crystallis to get infinitely upgraded. Two hits that we can play on our floor would be really solid. We can minus one again on another Ritual of Battle. And I don't think we need to permafrost anything. If we want to permafrost something, we just use Preserve. And we keep it rolling. I don't think we want anything intrinsic. No. We want our units to be intrinsic, but that doesn't really work. So what we want now is we want a Pyre Chomper. So we can fuse it onto our other dude and have infinite Ember. Okay, we're going to lose this Titan Sentry pretty quickly, I think. I think let's try to keep it around as long as possible. Oh, hello. That was dangerous. Almost didn't get our siren out. Okay. Play you up front. Keep you quick. Easy. Alright. So Titan Sentry luckily softened things up for us. Get in there, fledgling game. Do it! Then let's play gifts now. Sick. Get you out. Pop. Pop. And just smack this. Smack this girl. I mean, it might be, but I think she's going to scale harder, is my feeling. So I'm not really stressing it too much. Uh, let's blast you. Preserve the Inferno. And play March of Shields. All good stuff. I'm gonna play this down here. Play you. I'm gonna just Inferno, honestly. 
Why not? Okay. Sick. Also, I don't know if it makes sense to be putting all this onto the prince. I guess it kind of does. Because it's your back line, so it's going to do the most damage in the back. Okay, let's play you. Let's play you. Let's play you. Torch. Health Crystallis, Frozen Lance, Frozen Lance. And I think again we're just crushing here. So we're gonna have the strikes. We're gonna have the strikes. The question is. Do we have the sustain for the Prince? And I think the answer is yes. I think we're in a good spot here. Ice and Pyre is also very good in this particular build. Because we play top floor and we're going to play top floor. Um, the question is, does Fortify do enough for the Prince? I think we need to, get a, I think we need to dupe the Fortify. Uh, we can't dupe the Fortify, actually. Unless we don't dupe the Siren onto itself. Yeah, that, that squid is super tanky. Um, I'm going to take Ice and Pyre. And... I'm going to take... Capacity. Because I want to fit the Imp on the same floor. I still have a, I still have a belief that that Imp can somehow get in there. And the question is, do we prioritize getting Holdo or getting Endless on the Imp? Or do we prioritize getting Endless onto our Titan Sentry? I think now it's Imp. Let's yeet out... Two more Frozen Lances. I'm just going to put health under the Titan Sentry. It's not what we wanted. We didn't get it. And now I'm sad. Absolutely. We just take two of them. That's how we win. Imp will be sacked. We're going to dupe the Siren and not merge it onto itself. We're just going to keep it. I am less sad now. This is true. Uh, Sinner Salve. No. Trader's Club. What do we have that consumes? Unnamed Tome and Wildwood Tome. That's it. Oh, guess no, no, no. Guess for a guard. Guess for a guard combo. Um. Brawler three. We get the most armor, and we have to sustain. Again, we're gonna try to keep it like. We, we're gonna get exactly a hundred is the goal. Exactly a hundred shards. Units appear on each floor. Absolutely fine. Do it. Get him in there. We should be able to survive. We can actually kill two. So one. The incant would give you plus four health. You're taking 20 right now. You would get plus four, plus four, plus four. You'd take 22. No, with two, you'd only get plus four, plus four. You get plus eight. This is 25 plus 12. Okay, so we got to go like this. It doesn't give the torch plus one until after we've played it. We have to draw first. 
So it's de entirely dependent on what we draw. So we're gonna go one. Prince has enough armor. And if we get March of Shields, we can move the Siren back to the front. So we're putting it all on the line here. I mean, kind of. If the prince dies, it's like not the end of the world, to be honest. But <laughs> would be mildly annoying. Quick here just saves us. But we don't get to play Titan Sentry. We don't get to play Titan Sentry for a while. That's the that's the uh, way this is gonna roll. Okay. Imp. Wait a minute. Imp? Who's quick? She's quick. 37. How much damage do we have to do? One eighteen. One ah, uh, it's not enough. One forty this does it. Oh my gosh, we're living. And killing the guy before he can attack us. Scare me. Okay. Armor, so you don't just die. We gotta get more damage, though. Uh, so, armor you. Thirty-six. Let me think. Ah! Crushing. Uh, I'm gonna wait on the silence here. Here we go. We're on second leg. We already got through Reaper. This is the way to do it. Um, let's... Armor. Ritual of battle. Frozen Lance. Now play this first. Onto, oh, hold on, onto Inferno. Ritual you again. Into this. Which kills the backliner. And doesn't give us Ember Drain. This is mandatory. It's not even a choice. We have to do this. Otherwise, we are going to get completely steamrolled by this Pyrewing. But now he's living. And now it's all about... All about just getting as much value right now as we can. Rituals are better on the Prince now. Oh, no. Do we Honestly, it is, it is the... Uh, It is the Siren Show right now. Okay, Siren or Titan Sentry can actually fit up top. Hilariously enough. Armor, armor, preserve, you, torch. And I'm going through all this. I feel. It's deserved. I earned this. I earned these extra hits on this boss. There's the Pyre Chomper. Okay, then. Skip.
Now we have to make a decision. This is happening no matter what. If we dupe the siren, we don't get to play the pyre chomper up there. This is the choice. We would then play the pyre chomper Oh, pfft. yeah, that's right. Uh, it's not even endless. We just, we did it for the shards, guys. We did it for the shards. We're good. We're duping the siren. I don't know what I was thinking there. That's like the third time I've done that where I think that it actually does the thing. Could have placed it on siren. That's fair. That's fair. Anyway, now we just lose it. Wrong order. Yeah, I needed to do the other. Yeah. Also, remove consume from uh, Helco Crystallis. Now we have a, a spell we can scale if we want. Minus one on March of Shields. Um, let's check the uh, trinkets. Rage does not decay. Is really good. Totem Fragment is very good. And that's what we roll with. And we're going to ignore all the stuff that just happened, because, like, it, it, whatever. It, it, stuff happens, guys. Um, let's make this Ritual of Battle also one cost. And just continue to increase Ice and Fire. I don't think it's... Uh, I guess it's kind of mediocre. Yeah, you're right. But it is what it is. <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. I think it's okay on the Prince. Every little bit of, of damage um, is going to be really beneficial. And the fact that we have two of them is pretty good. Alright. How are we going to roll here? Let's go start with you. And this time, I think I'm going to put it on the Prince, because we're going to be putting all of the Rage into the Prince. So quick on Prince with extra hits seems good. Although, maybe that's not correct because of the Cleanse. No, I still think it's correct. So we play you. Play you. Armor. Ice and Pyre. Get wrecked. Okay, then we play... Second Siren. Mollusk Mage. Don't draw the Titan Sentry. Thank you. We'll preserve Ritual of Battle. Nothing to cleanse yet. But it's coming. Play you. Armor. Ritual now. It's not great, but it's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. He just got... It's got a cleanse where the... Titan Sentry is a couple of times. Okay. Play this. Um, let's see. Okay. That's pretty good. We can just play this up front and then torch it. So it doesn't give us Ember Drain. And then Ritual, Armor, and we'll keep the Unnamed Tome. The only problem is the Cleanse. Pop. Like this. Hello, Free Inferno. Also Helico Crystallis. Correct. And play this. And then we wait on the preserve. Draw the ritual, please. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
still hold it. Only two more. We get the ritual again. Now we're going to keep all this uh, rage, which is great. We can kill you. We can play this. That's what I wanted. This is the Helical Crystallis that ends all Helical Crystalluses. Preventing all damage. Because I, I want to wait till Preserve until we get something that, well, I don't know. I don't know why, guys. I just, I just play things sometimes. I'd rather preserve a spell that I can play, though, than a dead weight, right? I guess it's fine to... Uh... Yeah, sure. Okay, so we gotta prevent this AoE. Very important. We did that. Torch the backliner. Big Helico Crystallis crushes all. Play this and torch you. Play this, play this, play this. And again, Helico Crystallis just crushing it again. Crushing. With divinity, with divinity, we will um, appreciate more the prince's power because he won't get cleansed, and he'll scale up really nicely once he hits over like a hundred damage, which is like what three or four. No, it's I, I guess it's five. Five times, then then we're good. Leg one of the prince was a huge part of the victory. Surprisingly. We put one brawler on him, and we gave him massive amounts of rage and armor, and he was slaying everything. He was a huge part. We didn't have one horns either. We had four strikes. But each strike was doing more than 600 damage per strike. Very early on in the fight. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a combo I've never done before, but was like really slick. You have to watch the VOD to see it. So this is a big problem. Surviving. We had one unit in the front. We had a... Uh, what was it? Oh, it was a deranged brute. We had Deranged Brute in the front, Prince in the back. And we had a Spike of the Hellhorned, double stacked with um, the first Hell Pact, and Impish Scholar with Endless. And so every turn we would bring back the Spike of the Hellhorned, and we would alternate who we played it on, giving armor and rage to both. No, two strikes from Brute, two strikes from the Prince. And I would play the rage onto both every other time. Because we also had uh, important work. And so we could play it multiple times per turn. You just have to watch the VOD to see it. It's two strikes each for a total of four. Um... I don't know if the prince can survive. Uh, we, we pivoted into one rank of brawler is how we got the extra onto the prince. We'll take five damage minimum per turn. Can we play middle floor is the question. Two, one. One, one. We can play the middle floor. I think we have to play middle floor or we lose. Double torches puts us at exactly 14. We would have to, oh my gosh. So what we do is we wait to see where we need to play the Prince until after. 
We might have to front line with the Prince. Depends on what we draw here. Oh, it doesn't even matter what we draw. We play the Prince up front. And then we pray. Oh, you're right, actually. He would have survived. Uh, luckily, we can play you. But we're still dying. And there's no way to prevent it. Play this. Do you live? 6, 12, 18, 38, 6. No, we still lose both. We still both die. How do we play this? How do we play this? Wait a minute, I got the dude last time. Oh, I didn't play three spells. That's why. I didn't play three spells. Or three cards, I should say. Kills one of them. We can't lose this many units at the beginning. I think we're just dead. Or we just sack the prince at the top floor. That's the only other option I could think of, is that we just don't try to keep the prince alive. We let it die. Or just try to hold on to it as long as we possibly can. If we play another spell, we're going to draw the dude. And we can't do that right now. Yeah, we just lose. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. We just got terrible draws. Because we it's not enough. Titan Sentry is not going to do enough. I think we just, I don't know if we can win it though. I think we just got really unlucky with our draws and, uh, hold on. Things are still living for the moment.
Do we just play Titan Sentry in the middle and then wait to play our other units until after Titan Sentry dies? Damn it. Ah, I hate this. I hate when we just get screwed over by our draws. You only have to play two spells up top to survive. One, two, three. So you, you, one, two, you live. Okay. Our boy. Are you just dying? Oh, you're just dying to, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, you're still dying. How? Fif oh, it's 15 exactly. Okay, well, we sacked the prince. We'll probably still lose. But... If we had put... If we had put uh, the quick on the siren, would we have won? I don't know how drawing differently would help. Just wondering. I think we kill the spikes. And we're probably dead anyway, but I mean, we made it a little bit further. We could at least get some damage out, but this guy might by himself just kill us. They do have some frostbite, which is nice. Game hates me today. God damn it. Well, we have to restart the whole thing now. Our first run is completely moot because we got such a terrible draw. Very disappointing. Um, I don't see a scenario where we come out of this alive. 
One, two, three. If we put the train... Okay, let's try this. I mean, let's try this line. There is a line here that we can try where we put the Trine Sentry up. See if the Trine Sentry can survive long enough. I don't think it would have been enough. But it would yeah, it certainly would have helped. We could have infernoed the bottom floor. Play this. Let me go Titan Sentry. Uh give you quick. We can try on the top floor, but the, the it's not just him dying, everybody's dying. If we set up on the top floor. I just can't get enough spells out because of the order of how we've been drawing everything. She's been really, really unlucky. Um, but this is a setup we haven't tried before, so we'll try it. This is where we die. We can't survive this. What if we put this guy up front? Torch him. Torch him both. Give you extra rage. Torch you as well. We actually are living. This only does a little bit of damage. We're going to hold it. Well, it's not good. We do get the second siren, though. That's something. Uh, the problem is that this train, this train, or the siren of the sea just dies. And then we just lose next turn anyway. Um, this would prevent 8 damage, though, I think. 9 plus 18, 27. No, it's exact. Uh, we let this guy just hit us. Oh, no, it actually does block. Okay. So we have to always- we have to also kill the top floor. Dude. Which we can't even do. So we just lose. I don't I think it's possible. I think it's not possible. I'll try the top floor setup, but I don't think it's possible. I think we just really got screwed over that our Fortify was so far back in the deck. And we've been lucky so far that we've gotten it quite early every time. But we're gonna we're gonna try just sacking the prince entirely. Like not even trying to protect him at all. And just go all in here on trying to make the top floor work, but I'm not very confident that it's going to work. Um, I'm going to play you out here. Even though we don't get to play our other unit, because I don't think it's going to matter. Either we're going to kill here or we're not. We're not going to try to save the prince at all. Yeah, 
doesn't matter. There's no there's no way to set up that we can win. It just sucks. It just sucks. Like you have a really strong build and you just get super unlucky and then you lose. Uh, and I hate it because we had such a good first run too. Well, damn. Try that. Oh, we just... That's right, our sirens are complete trash. What can we do on the bottom floor, though? If we play on the bottom floor, they both immediately die. If I Inferno the bottom floor and then play the champion there, I guess that's a play. That's a play. We'll try that. Yeah, Prince just dies immediately because of the spikes. It's not possible. We just got completely screwed by the draw, and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm going to try this one setup one last time, playing now both the uh, Titan Sentry and the Siren, like this. Uh, giving... We'll hold the silence. Let's play the quick onto the siren. And we'll just see how it goes. We can preserve the Mollusk Mage. Should play this very first. That was a mistake. survive here. Ah, that's such bullshit. That's so irritating. Ah, that makes me so mad. I don't know how we do this. How did the prince take damage? Oh, the prince took damage at the beginning. If we play this, this. Siren, siren, mage, shark. I just don't play the prince at the beginning. I think it's, I think we don't do enough damage quick enough. I mean, even here, we're just dead. Like you play the, you play the Titan Sentry out. Even giving this to her, we cannot scale fast enough. Don't know yet. I'm gonna try this line. Should have played that earlier again. 
rookie mistake. doesn't matter really doesn't matter where we put it um, if we give the rage to the prince still doesn't kill the front unit Try without the prince, but I don't think it's I don't think it works either, but we'll try this. That's the problem. We draw them all, Smage. Uh if I guess if I plan around that, then we can get them all in. Let's I guess we try that. That's the that's the way to get at least all the encanters out. It's the only way we've gotten so far that's gotten all the encanters out. So we'll try that. Or we just sack the prince entirely, but I, I don't think that's good either. I think we hold the prince and then hopefully try to fit him in later. Okay. So we go one, two, this, you. And then hopefully we can encamp enough. The, this is the floor that has to make it work. Exact. Oh, we, we live. We have two HP left. And we're not dead. Barely, but we are not dead. Put you in the back. Problem is we have to inferno this guy or we lose. I think. Yeah, he can only hit us once. So we have to draw, like, specifically... Gifts for a guard. Oh my gosh. And even then... Hold on. Gets him down to 68. Still not enough. 68 plus 10. 58. It's, it's crazy close. Oh, wait a minute, if we consume as well... Hold on, play this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it doesn't... 
doesn't matter. That's the closest we ever got, though. So, there you go. The other option is that we do, as I mentioned, or as we tried, or didn't really try, I just try to play everything up top and try to sack. That's the other way to do it. The problem is, is that we get Ember Drained. So the timing of the units is really awkward. It's not possible to play on the bottom floor. That's, well... Let's do it like this. Let's play you. Play you up top. Then... Go one... Two... Three... One, two, three. If we can keep the prince alive for a turn, the question is, is that even worth it? I think not. I think we're just going to go all in on trying to keep everybody else alive and not worry about the prince at all. And that's how we're going to try to do it. Definitely a play. Start with this. Okay. Second Siren. <laughs> I think this guy just kills us. It's really close. Actually, it's re uh No, he, he kills five hits. Is all we're gonna get. Six hits. 240, it's not enough. Huh. How can we get both out? We can get both out if we don't worry about playing Inferno. The question is can we survive without playing Inferno? We can go this on to you. Let me think though, how important is the rage versus 
torch. Torch. Block a hit. Torch. Ice and pyre. This is our best chance. We got an extra 300 damage now because of this. We even fit the Titan Sentry up here. Gifts for a guard. Whoa. Inferno here. I feel like these guys will be easy enough to kill with uh, torches and stuff. Oh my gosh, do we actually have it? There's another gift. Every turn is a new nightmare. We have nothing else, so we gotta play stuff out. This. Two. Three. Gift. My goodness. Crazy. Well, we're gonna finish the run, but I'm gonna start the hat trick, hat trick over again because we did lose, and or we we I had to restart way too many times. Like we're not gonna accept. It. Actually, I had to restart even on ring one. So we had to restart on ring one, and then we had to ring start restart a whole bunch on ring nine. So we're gonna start hat trick over again. We're gonna have to do Reaper again. Doesn't discount how sick the Reaper build was, but uh, but we're gonna have to let it go and start over again tomorrow. And with that, name of the day has been Badoop. <laughs> and I am I am happy we puzzled that out, but that was uh, that was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. No, I think it's completely fair. That's what I said. I'm following my own rules. It's fine. The Reaper build was sick. Should we modify the rules to say that you don't have to re- like, it's just like once you've locked in a run, you've locked it in, and then you just keep going until you get them? And we just restart the brawler build again? Maybe we do that. 